Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create an amazing virtual tour on your WordPress website. So you can upload the 360 panoramic images and you can create a virtual tour using this free plugin. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin. Let me show you an example of the virtual tour that I have created using this plugin. So this is the sample virtual tour that I have created. I can just use the mouse to rotate this image and here we have two more images if i click on it it will go to the second image that will be the kitchen and you will see that it will start rotating automatically from here you will see some other sections that you can mark for example here we have window you can also create different hotspot and you can mark the sections create hotspot here and name that hotspot Now from here, if I click on it, it will go to the living room. Here we have bookshelf. Now here you can create new hotspot. This will be dining table. You can name it as dining table. Here we have kitchen. So if I click on it, it will go to the third image. Here we have bedroom. So if I click on it, it will go to the bedroom. Here you can create different hotspot for the bedroom. Let's go back to living room and it will start rotating automatically. So there are many features that you can use in this virtual tour. If you are running a real estate website, then you can show the virtual tour of the housing project or the house. If you are running school website, then you can create the virtual tour of your school, show different sections or different areas of your school. If you want to create the virtual tour of your store, of your office, then you can use this plugin. This plugin is very easy to use and you can easily create virtual tours. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using a WooCommerce on this dummy website. Now we are going to install a free plugin. Let me show you the website of this plugin first. This is the website WPVR. This is the product of Rex theme. If you want to buy the pro version, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link in the description box to buy this plugin. What you can do with this plugin, you can upload the 360 panoramic images and you can create a virtual tour and you can publish the virtual tour on your WordPress website. So let's start with the installation of the free plugin. Let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website and go to plugins and click on add new. And here search for WPVR. And this is the plugin that we are going to install WPVR 360 panorama and virtual tour builder for wordpress click on install now and click on activate all right so the plugin is activated and in the left hand panel you will see this option wpvr this is a quick setup wizard so we will not go through the setup wizard let's go to this option get started now here you will see some information about the plugin you will see documentation support how to use it you can watch the video tutorials if you want to learn how to use or how to create the virtual tour you can watch the video and here you will see the difference between the free and the pro version next to that you have settings and these are the basic settings of this plugin allow editors of your site to create edit or update the virtual tour allow author disable font awesome and a media resizer disable wordpress large image handler so if you are uploading a large image sometimes wordpress will crop that image and it will reduce the quality of the image so you can disable that option from here in this case the wordpress will not reduce the size of the uploaded image you will need some quality images or heavy images to create the virtual tool disable on hover content for mobile enable script controls now if you want to show this virtual tour on some of the pages then you don't need to enable the script you don't want to load the script on all the pages of your wordpress website so here you can enable it and enter the url of the website where you want to add this virtual tour so that it will load the script only on that particular page 
Now here you will see enable video GS controls and here you will see front end notice for mobile visitors so it will ask them to flip the phone to landscape mode for a better experience of the tool so this will be the message so you can enable that one the notice will appear on the front end of the virtual tool if viewed from a mobile device so once done you can click on save changes so these are the basic settings now let's go to tools so we are going to create a new tour so here you will see the option add new tour now let's name it as let's say demo one and here you will see some options scenes hotspot general and video now these are the general settings for the tour and these are the scenes that you are going to add to that particular video tour let's say you have two or three 360 panoramic images that you want to link with each other in that case you can add multiple images as scenes so each image will be called as a scene now let's start with adding the first image i'll show you how the hotspot works so let's start with the scenes and i'm going to add the first image click on upload i have downloaded some sample images that i'm going to use the first image is let's say the living room click select so this image will be shown here here you can add the scene id so you need to add id for each image so let's say I want to name it as living room. Now here you cannot use special characters. You can only use the letters and numbers. All right. So this is the scene ID and I want this as default. So I'm going to mark it as default. Now this image will be the front image or the main image of your tour. Now once you upload it, you can click on preview and you will see the preview of this image. So this is how it will look. This image is 360 panoramic image and I have some sample images that I'm going to use in this video. So this is the first scene. Now I'm going to upload another scene, the another image. Click on the plus sign here and click on upload. Let's upload the image of kitchen. So I'm going to upload this one. Select it and let's name it as kitchen. And let's click on preview. Now this one is not the default one. We have already marked the first image as the default one. Click on preview and you will see the second image here. This is the first. This is the second. If I double click on it, it will show the preview of the second image. So this is the image of the kitchen. And the next image I want to add is of bedroom. So I'm going to upload the third image. Let's name it as bedroom and click on preview. Now you will see all the three images are here. If I double click on it, this is the third image. You will see the bedroom here. These are not the actual images. I have just downloaded some sample images. All right. So we have got three images here. Now we are going to use the hotspot. Now let's go to the first scene and this is the first image double click on it so here we have selected the first scene and the first image in the preview now let's go to hotspot and this is the first scene on which we want to add some hotspot or some information or some labels so let's create the first hotspot for this you need to select the spot where you want to add the information let's say this is the spot where i want to add some information so i'll just zoom in and i'll click on it here i have clicked and you will see the pitch and yaw that you can use. You can simply click on this one and it will show this number here. So this is the actual marking of this spot where I clicked. And here I want to add some information. If you want to add URL, you can add the URL. Here you will see two different types of information you can add. On click content. So if you can name something and when someone click on it, it will show this information. And the second option is on hover. So when you move the cursor there, it will show that content. So let's say I want to name it as book shelf. You can customize it. You can simply center align it. Bold. Let's use header two or let's use header one. You can also add link to this text and you can also add image. Now here new, we need to add the hotspot ID. So I'm going to add zero zero or let's say HS hotspot 001 so this is the id let's click on preview 
and you will see that here and when I move the cursor on it it will show the text that I have added here now I can also add image let's say if I click on this one when someone clicks on it it will show the image so I'm going to add picture now here you will see an option to add the URL of the image so I'll go to the dashboard let's go to media and under media I'll select one image let's select this one and this is the URL you can also upload the image from here and then copy the URL of the image and enter the URL here and click on insert image so this is how to look let's click on preview now when I move the cursor it will show the name and if I click on it it will show the image now let's add one more hotspot on the same scene I see this is now this is a kitchen and I want to link this kitchen somewhere here so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a new hotspot when someone click on that hotspot it will go to this scene the kitchen scene so let's click on the plus sign again and here just name it as edge hotspot 002 so this is the second hotspot on the first scene and uh, I want to let's say add the hotspot here so this is the spot where I click and you will see the information here you can just click on this option and it will show the marking here now here I want to link the second scene that is the kitchen scene here you will see the hotspot type click on it and you will see the option scene click on it now here you will see the drop down to select the scene so I'm going to select the kitchen and you will see it here so this is the marker when someone click on it it will go to the second scene and this is the hover so I'm going to type in kitchen in the hover name it as go to kitchen right let's preview all right this is the first one if I move you will see the second hotspot if I move the cursor on it it will show the text and if I click on it it will go to the second scene that is the kitchen all right now let's go to the second scene and now we are going to add some hotspot on the second scene let's go to scenes and select the second scene from here you need to select the proper scenes otherwise you will keep on marking on the first scene so we have selected the second scene and then go to hotspot and on the second scene we are going to create the first hotspot let's say this is the hotspot and here I want to show a window so I'm going to click here then select the marking click on it and it will show the marking here let's name it as HS003 you need to add the hotspot ID as well as the scene ID everywhere otherwise it is not going to work now this is going to be info and here I am going to name it as window all right let's click on preview it will always go to the first scene whenever you click on preview then we are going to second scene and here you will see the window all right now let's go back and I want to go out now here I want to add another marker which will go back to the living room so I'm going to click on the plus sign we are still on the second scene and add the second marker here here will be the point and that will go to the scene the first scene that will be the living room just name it as living room if you do not want to type in this hover effect you can simply keep it blank click preview let's go to the kitchen then this is the living room so we are back to the living room this is the bookshelf now let's go to the bedroom so let's move the image and let's see we can mark this point as bedroom so here somewhere we have the bedroom so I'm going to click here first let's go back to scenes go to the first scene because we are going to add the hotspot on the first scene select the first scene click on this one let's go to the hotspot so I'm going to click on the plus sign 
and click here this is the point where i want the hotspot click on this option it will show this marking and this will be let's say hs005 this will go to the scene and the scene will be the bedroom let's name it as bedroom the center align it click on preview right now here if i click on it it will go to the third scene so this is the third scene now similarly you can add some hotspot on the third scene you need to go to scene select the third scene and then go to hotspot and here you can add the hotspot with more information so from here i want to go to living room let's say i have living room here mark it as hs006 select the point add the marking and scene and it should go to living room click review and we are back to the normal preview so this is the tool that we have created let's publish it now here you will see general settings you can go to general settings and these are the basic settings of this tool if you want you can add an image for the preview this is auto load if you enable it it will start the tour automatically and these are the basic control auto rotation if i click enable it you will see auto rotation let's disable it let's go to advanced control under advanced control you will see all these options these all these settings are pretty basic you just need to go through the settings control buttons so these are the control buttons so the general settings are pretty simple if you want more information you can go to documentation now let's see how we can add this to the page so let's go back to WPVR, go to tools. And this is the short code that we need to use. So I'm going to put this on one of the pages. So let's go to pages. Let's create a new page. All right, so here we are on the new page. Let's name it as tour and publish it. Now here you can use the default Gutenberg to show the virtual tour on the website or if you are using Elementor, it is also going to create a block for the Elementor. So I'll show both the ways. Click on the plus sign here and let's search for WPVR. You will see that option here. If I click on it, it will show the block for the WPVR and here you can select the ID that is the demo one that we created. So this is the demo one tool that we created. So we have selected that one. This is the width and this is the height. So I'm going to select percentage and let's make it 100% and let's use the height or let's say 100% or VH. Radius, I do not want to make any changes. This is the mobile height and the border width. So I'm going to keep all the other settings as it is. Click update and let's go to view page and you will see the virtual tour on this page so i can just use the mouse and you will see all the options here this is the shelf and this is the bedroom this is the kitchen if i click on it it will go to the second scene from here i can see the kitchen if i hover you will see this is window now here i can go back to the living room from the living room i can go to the bedroom and so this is the third scene and from here I can go back to living room. You can also zoom in, zoom out. So now this image is not that much clear. However, you can use high quality images and you can create beautiful tools using the free plugin. I do have the pro version of this plugin. So I'm going to install the pro version and let's see what are the features in the pro version. So let's go back to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new and click on upload plugin. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to upload the plugin. Now, if you want to see all the features, you can go here and you will see all the features of this plugin. You will see this is the premium version. It will cost to $79.99 per year. It is for one site and these are the features. This It will also support VR glass, floor plan, WooCommerce add-on, Fluent Forms. So you can compare all the features here. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use that link. Now let's activate the plugin. And here you will see WPVR, click on it. 
and here you will see the settings again now i need to enter the license so i'm i'll go to wpvr license setting i do have the license so i'm going to enter it and i'm going to save the changes all right so it is now active let's refresh it now let's go back to tools and this is the tool let's go to edit and here you'll see additional options you can have floor plan you can also have background tour and street view so you can use all these features in the pro version if i go here you can add the street view here you will see floor plan you can add the floor plan you can enable you can add the images you can also add video if i go to general you will see different options here you can compare the features of the free and the pro version if you want all these features then you can go for the premium version now if you want to add a background music you can add the background music also let's go to general tab and here you will see advanced control here you will see the option tour background music so you can enable this one and you can upload a music file which will automatically play whenever someone lands on this page let's disable it let's enable the auto rotation let's update it and you will see that it is rotating automatically because we have enabled this option here under general we have enabled this auto rotation and it will start rotating automatically so if i click on it it will stop rotating So when I go to next scene, it will start rotating automatically. So if you really want to create professional virtual tools for the website, you can definitely go for the premium version of this plugin. Now, let me show you how you can use it on Elementor. If I go here, Elementor, edit with Elementor. Elementor, you can search for WPVR and you will see the WPVR block that you can use. You can select the ID and here you can set the height, width and radius. Just like what we did into the Gutenberg editor. So this is how you can create virtual tour on any WordPress website using the free plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.